Come on. Come here. Come on. Come here. <laughs> She's not interested. Here you go. What's this? Go get it. Oh, wow. Yes, Lola. Good girl. You're such a good girl. You're a good girl. How do I switch this around? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I did it. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing on this fine Sunday afternoon? Oh, my God, I'm so weird about doing lives. But I was just going through some of my upcoming performances and dates and the locations and things, and I thought it would be great to pop on live because I've not been on live in forever. So I thought it would be good to kind of come on and chat through the dates with you, answer any questions, because it's looking like it's going to be a busy summer for me, which is amazing, and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I obviously just recently did London Pride and Oxford and Colchester Pride, which was great. I had so much fun. Um, but I have lots of other performances coming up all around Europe as well, so it's not just going to be the UK. Um, so I thought I, I could answer some questions. Um, and if you have any questions of certain locations, maybe I'll be coming to your country and you can come and watch me perform, which would just be great. So, hello, 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 everyone. Will you come here to Manchester Pride in August? Yes, I can confirm I am coming to Manchester Pride in August. I can't wait. I have it written down. I think it's the 23rd of August. I'll have to double check, but I believe it's the 23rd of August. I'll be coming to Manchester Pride which is very exciting. And I'll be able to release a bit more kind of details and information soon um, about Manchester Pride and my performance there. But I can't wait. I'm really, really excited. So, yes, we have another question. Are you coming to Austria or Germany? I recently was in Austria. I was in Vienna um, for the 2019 Life Ball, which was so much fun. I had such a great time. Um, and I am coming to Germany uh, end of this month. 20, oh my goodness, I have it written down, 27th of July, I'm performing at Berlin Pride, which is oh, so exciting because I love Germany so much. I really do. And Berlin's one of my favourite places. Um, so I'm really, really excited to go to Berlin Pride. So yes, I will be in Germany. I'll be in Berlin. <clears throat> I'm so happy you're coming to Manchester. Thank you. I'm so happy to be coming to Manchester. <laughs> to Hamburg. Oh, I love Hamburg. I went to Hamburg last year, actually. It was really nice. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have any plans, I think. I don't think so, so far this year. But who knows? Things are kind of moving forward and things are getting busy. So who knows? I might be coming to Hamburg soon enough. Oh, my goodness. By the way, it's actually really fun just to come back on here because I realised it's been probably like four or five months since I was last on here and now I'm just sitting with a glass of Pims and lemonade enjoying Sunday um, I've just been doing some singing which also I want to say I kind of want to hear your reaction to this I don't know because I've not done any covers or you know any uploads on YouTube or Instagram recently um, of me singing and I kind of filmed a couple of bits today I was just playing around, just filmed it on my phone. And they were just a cappella, a couple of covers. And I'd love to hear if you guys would like to see that. I thought an a cappella cover would be slightly different. Um, and I can kind of put them through Instagram, which I thought would be fun. So we can connect a bit more on here. Um, but yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to know if you think it would be a good idea to do some a cappella covers because I have filmed a couple. So maybe I'll kind of release a little clip from one of them and see what you think. <clears throat> okay, good. Good, okay, I'm seeing the comments and you're all saying, yes, go for it. Okay, that's good. That's the reaction I was hoping for. I'm like, every time I say something, I get nervous that people are going to be like, mm, no, we're really not that interested. But I'm very glad to hear that you want to hear them. But they are just literally, I mean, I was literally stood in my bathroom just kind of singing a couple of songs that I really like at the moment. So, yeah, maybe I'll... I'll post it and see what you think. <laughs> no, I need to focus here because I need to get some dates in and tell you where I'm going to be. I will obviously be kind of posting and tweeting and 
all of that fun stuff about all of the dates coming up. Um, so I'm doing Berlin Pride on the 27th of July. And then on the 3rd of August, I believe it's 3rd of August, beginning of August, let's say, just in case I get it wrong, I'm coming to Amsterdam. This is going to be my first time ever performing in Amsterdam, which is beyond exciting. I cannot wait. And I'm still kind of pinching myself that I'm going to Amsterdam and performing there. So I'm hoping to see some of you because I've seen lots of great comments from people who um, live in Amsterdam, who want me to come to Amsterdam to perform. So I can confirm I'll be coming um, at the beginning of August for Amsterdam Pride, which is going to be a lot of fun. And then I go to Copenhagen um, the 15th of August, I think, performing in Copenhagen, which again... Very, very exciting. And this is all with my new project um, with Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras. They recently named me the UK Champion of Pride, which is a huge honour. Um, and I'm kind of representing and supporting them in their bid to host World Pride in 2023. It's never been hosted. World Pride has never been hosted in Australia ever before. So this would be a huge thing. So get online, show, you, show Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras your support. Um, you know, they have done so much work and the, you know, the history and the story behind um, Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras, it's so inspiring and I've been lucky enough to meet a lot of people who have worked so hard to make Mardi Gras what it is in Sydney. Um, so yes, please, please show your support online for them because I'm so honoured to be working with them and kind of going around Europe and representing them and performing for them. So yes please support them because it's a really exciting new opportunity and a new kind of door opened for me and i'm i'm really excited about it <clears throat> now let me answer some questions and things um do you like japanese food i absolutely do i definitely do i mean i like food in general to be honest but i love japanese food hi from colombia hi to colombia do you think you will do any more shows in Norwich? Norwich is my hometown. I'd love to, I hope so. I was hoping at the possibility of either just attending or performing at Norwich Pride, but unfortunately I'm gonna be in Berlin, so I won't be doing that. But maybe in the future, who knows? I'd definitely be open to it. You know, it's my hometown, I live here, and you know, they've always been so supportive here in Norwich. So yeah, I'd love to perform here again. <clears throat> Hi from Greece. Hi to Greece, hi to San Francisco. It's always crazy. Whenever I do these lives, I'm like, oh my goodness, I forget that there's like, you're all from all over the place, all over the world, which is so exciting. Because I'm just in some little village, the, <laughs> the middle of nowhere. Um, so yes, hello to Mexico. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Any artists or bands you're listening to right now? Yes, Yeba, who just released a song with Mark Ronson. I mean, I've been listening to her for like a year or so now. Um, but she's finally getting some real recognition. She is so amazing. Her voice is insane. If you haven't heard her, look her up, Yeba, Y-E-B-B-A. She's just released a song with Ed Sheeran as well. Oh my goodness, she, her voice is just insane. And if you can, look up on YouTube, Yeba singing My Mind live. I cry, like floods of tears. She's amazing. <clears throat> I don't mean anything, I'm just curious, Ron. Are you gay? Indeed I am. Shocker. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, I love it. People are like, yeah, but got it. Okay, I'm going to be... Oh, sorry, you can see my brother in the background. <laughs> How funny. <clears throat> Keep up the awesome work. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, there's so many questions and... All these different places, sorry, I need to try and get my brother out of it because he's <laughs> distracting me. Will you perform in Brazil someday? Oh my goodness, do you know what? That's actually one of like my bucket list things, like hopes and dreams is to go to Brazil and perform because my fans in Brazil have been so supportive. I mean, my album went to number 18 when I released it last year, which is just bizarre on the iTunes album charts in Brazil. Um, and I've always known there's a fan base there and you guys have always been so supportive and vocal online and I've never been to Brazil so I would love, love, love to come there so I'm hoping, I'm working on it I'm hoping that I'm going to get out there and, you know, perform for you guys and, and meet you so yeah, hopefully, I'm really unfortunately I can't say yes, I'm coming and this is it no, not yet, but I'm working on it so hopefully 
<clears throat> Can I already buy tickets for Amsterdam? Now, I actually don't know the question, the answer to this, sorry. Um, I just know it's Amsterdam Pride. So if you look up Amsterdam Pride, you'll find all the details on there. Um, so, yeah. I, d I don't think you'll buy tickets, but if you do, they're not going to be crazy expensive. It's Pride. It's about having fun, celebrating. I'm really excited because the parade and the actual Pride event there just looks so much fun. Everybody looks like they're having a great time. So I'm very, very excited about Amsterdam. You like Thailand? Yes, I do. I love Thailand. Thailand's great. Beautiful place. Mm. Oh. Hi to Iran. Oh my God, hi to New Jersey. I watch Real Housewives of New Jersey all the time. <laughs> Not that that's like the only thing I know about New Jersey, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you going to the Ariana Grande show in London? No, I wish I was. Oh, I so wish I was. I love Ariana Grande, but no, unfortunately, I'm not. Are you doing Manchester Pride? Yes, I am. I am doing Manchester Pride. When is it? Oh, my goodness. 23rd of August, Manchester Pride, I believe. I believe it's Manchester Pride. Oh, gosh. Yes, so I am performing there, which is very exciting. Uh, when are you coming to Germany? I'm coming to Germany. I have to keep checking my paper where it has all these <laughs> dates down because I keep forgetting. Um, I'm coming to Germany the end of this month, 27th of July, Berlin. So, yes, hopefully I shall see you in Berlin. I'm very excited about it. I'm also going to Northern Ireland, by the way. 31st of August, Nuri. I believe that's how I say it. Nuri Pride. I'm performing there, which is very exciting there's some other dates in the uk i've announced these just today actually or one yesterday one today september the 14th gloucestershire pride here in the uk and 17th of august it's doncaster pride here in the uk which is very exciting um so yes what is your eye color i honestly don't know i feel like it changes i think it's like a bluey gray weird color <laughs> is there a meet and greet in Berlin? Um, I don't really know, but I'm, I can tell you that I'll be performing and then after I've performed and before I've performed, I'm going to be enjoying the day as much as possible. I will be out and about having fun. So if you see me come up, give me a hug and we'll have a picture together. Um, so yes, I'm definitely, you know, I don't know if there's an official meet and greet, but I will be out and about and I'm sure you'll meet me. So don't you worry about that. <clears throat> oh my goodness, they're so... Wow, you're going to visit many places. I hope it's not stressful. No, not at all. I love travelling and I obviously absolutely adore performing. So these two things to me are my favourite things. I mean, in the middle of all this in August, because August is very busy, I turned 20, 21, I was about to say 25, 21 in August, um, the 8th is my birthday. And so in the middle of all this travelling around, I'm also going to Nice. <laughs> that is my mum watching Wimbledon right now. I think it's Roger Federer and somebody else doing the men's final and they're all obsessed... <laughs> Mother, oh my goodness gracious me. Yeah, so they're getting very exciting. <laughs> they're getting very excited watching Wimbledon. Um, so yes, in the middle of all these performances in August and kind of throughout the rest of the year, I'm also going to Nice for my birthday, which I'm really excited about because I've never been to Nice. Um, so yeah, so like I say, traveling, performing, it's what I love to do. So it's not stressful at all. It's stressful not performing and not traveling because I get impatient and I sit around and I'm like no I need to I need to do something I need to perform I need to go and travel and I love seeing the world and so yeah not stressful that would have just been an easier answer sorry I dragged that out <laughs> I'm trying to sorry I'm trying to answer as many questions as possible questions not questions questions goodness <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 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 um. Thoughts? Oh my god! <laughs> Thoughts on last week's Kardashians? I've not been watching it. I kind of, 
I stopped watching it and I need to catch up on it, John, so I will, don't worry. And I will text you and let you know how I think about what's going on with the Kardashians. Do not fear. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the Kardashians. Anything reality TV, all the Real Housewives, Kardashians, all of it, I love it. <clears throat> Fave Gaga song, oh my God, there's too many. By the way, how excited are we all about her new makeup brand? I can't wait, House Laboratories. It's gonna be great. I'm like the biggest Gaga fan for those who don't know, but I'm sure you will, I'm sure you'll know by now because I always go on about her. My favorite Gaga song, I have numerous ones. I love Speechless, um, I love Marry the Night. Oh my goodness, Edge of Glory. Edge of Glory was on my first album, so I guess I'll have to say Edge of Glory is my absolute favorite, but I have way too many. I love every song, she can do no wrong in my eyes. <laughs> What do I do in my free time? Walk my dog. Where is she? She's somewhere. There she is. She's down here. I walk my dog, spend most of my time with my dog. Um, I don't know. I get bored really easy, but then again, I like my own company. So I like socializing. I like going out with my friends. Um, but yeah, just kind of being at home and especially with the schedule that's coming up and traveling, when I do get some time off, I like to just be at home with my family, with my dog, um, and just chill out a bit. I love a glass of wine as well. That's like my damn time, sitting down having a glass of wine. What kind of doggy is she? She is a Labradoodle. She's more Labrador. Her mum was a Labradoodle, her dad was a Labrador. I say was, I think they're still alive. But, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so she's more Labrador in her, but yeah, she is a Labradoodle and she's absolutely gorgeous. She's just my favorite thing, person, anything ever. Oh, I saw you at London Pride. Didn't expect you to be there, but you were amazing. <gasps> Thank you so, so much. You know what? London Pride, I have to say, was probably one of my favorite shows ever to date. It, the audience were electric. They were really going for it. They were singing along, they were dancing, jumping. It was so much fun. Um, so yeah, London Pride was one to remember. I'm not gonna forget it anytime soon. I really, I had a great time, I really did. So thank you so much and I'm glad you enjoyed my little set. <laughs> uh... You have a lot of fans here in Mexico. Oh, lovely. Well, thank you. Hi to Mexico. Who knows, maybe one day I'll go to Mexico. I hope so. <laughs> um, thank you for your support. There's all these places. It's all like, hi from blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I can't believe it. Uh, um, <sighs> Favorite artist ever is gonna be Lady Gaga. You're gonna get sick of me going on about her, but that is always, she's the answer to like nearly every question. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, hi to Croatia. I love Croatia. I had a really fun family holiday in Croatia once. So hi. <laughs> <clears throat> hi from Poland, hi to Poland. Would you want to act in a movie? Maybe. I really wanna, focus on my singing right now and I'm really enjoying it. Performing just brings me so much joy and I'm really loving that it's getting busier and I'm performing more and so that's my priority right now but who knows if a door opened and it was right for me and the role was right and you know they wanted me maybe. Who, who knows what the future holds. You know and I'm still 20 so I've got, I'd like to think hopefully I've got time to kind of do these things. I've always just wanted, wanted to be known as a singer before an actor or before anything else. Oh my goodness, it's going crazy in there with Whitling Whitlingham. Wimbledon. My goodness. Do I continue singing Feeling Good? Yes, I do. That w I, when was the last time I sang that? I sang that a few weeks ago at Colchester Pride. Um, that was like the song that started my career and everything. So yeah, I sing Feeling Good at most of my shows. Um, it's just a fun song, everybody likes it, everybody knows it. And I think as well, because I was so young when I was on Britain's Got Talent, it was eight years ago now, 
lots of people don't remember me or they're like, is it him? I'm not quite sure. So then when I sing Feeling Good, they're like, oh, I remember now. <laughs> so yes, I do still sing Feeling Good, still love singing it and love the reaction from the audience all the time. People love that song. It's such a classic. <clears throat> Sounds like my house, my family's going crazy. I'm so embarrassed. I told them all I'm going on live. Make sure you like, keep it quiet, keep it cute. Cause they've been screaming all, all afternoon. And they're just, my mum goes crazy and she's not even like a sports fan, but when it's Wimbledon, she goes crazy. So I'm sorry about all the screaming in the background. <laughs> Are you a fan of Grace and Chance? What do you think about his album Portraits? I am a fan of Grace and Chance and I love his new album. I think it's great really really great and i love to see people who started at a young age and maybe had a difficult time or just took some time away because it's kind of similar to my story and for him to come back and be so strong and his music to be great yeah i'm a big fan and you know i really love seeing young people who have been in the industry and maybe had a difficult time really winning and i feel like he's winning right now so it's great to see do you have videos of your shows? I do. If you go on my um, official Facebook page, ronanpark.com, or no, facebook.com forward slash ronanpark, I have a video. Um, it's not a great quality video, but it's a video nonetheless um, of my performance at London Pride. So you can go and check that out on Facebook. And I'm hoping to, you know, keep filming different, different performances that I'm doing. So, yeah. Oh my goodness, what have I done? I don't even know how this works. Right. So, yes. So let me just go through the dates before I go again. 27th of July, I'm in Berlin at Berlin Pride in Germany. 3rd of August, I'm in Amsterdam for Amsterdam Pride. Cannot wait. 15th of August, I'm in Copenhagen. Um, 23rd of August, Manchester Pride. 31st of August, Newry Pride in Northern Ireland. September 14th, Gloucestershire Pride. 17th of August, Doncaster Pride. There are still more to it, so... Yes, there's still more to announce, but that is what I'm allowed to announce so far. Um, so I hope to see some of you there. It's been lovely catching up, although I'm just talking to a camera, which is really awkward. But thank you for kind of tuning in and asking all your questions. And thank you so much for your continued support. I'm going to come on live again soon. And then as well, let me know if you want to hear some more cover songs and I'll get it all sorted. Have a wonderful Sunday, everyone. Mwah, lots of love. See you later.